Never seek to tell thy love, love that never told can be. Poetry. I was running into a lot of that crap lately. Listen, Dactora, I want to help. You say a lot of things, Mr. McCoy. But you're a Blade Runner. It's hard to know what's real. One of my associates is after you and your friends. I'm not sure I can hold her off much longer. I'm not worried. She may kill some of us, but not all of us. Clovis will see to that. Is he the one that sent you the flowers? Yes. And your lovers? We were once. But now we've evolved beyond that. They're still my family, Clovis and Lucy. What's Clovis looking for? Information. Data. Four years isn't enough time, Mr. McCoy. If anyone deserves more than four years, it's Clovis. If you could only meet him... Can you take me to him? I'm afraid that's impossible right now. He's very jealous. You don't understand. Jealous, huh? On top of everything else? He's a very complicated man. He wants so much. Things he just can't have. Then he's no different from anybody else. God forbid you ever have to find out how different he is. How dangerous he can be. And if he thinks that you and I... It can only bring trouble. Clovis will find you when he's ready. You better go now. Take the fire escape. I... appreciate it, Mr. McCoy. What happened? Where is it? She got away. How the hell did it get away? We had it cornered. This one must be pretty damn clever. Duh! What the hell? Now I'll never catch it! We better call this in. Your vehicle close by? It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR-61661. Confirm one civilian kill, Ezo, considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it! The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR-61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Guza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I get cracking before I change my mind. Foggy stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek, hoodlum, dork, freak. There is someone at the door. Speak. I have a return package for Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Runciter. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. 
They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter's a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century like a real drugma. Listen Who the here. Piss, do you, you think Mr. you are that we have a strict like a couple no of goddamn policy. cowboys? Ugh! Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh no. You look like a couple of goddamn <laughs> Take a good, long look. Aha! Uh -huh. Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6? And you came to us? Return to you, my brothers. To ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers, take a good, long look. Oh. My. God. Well now, shall we begin? You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick? Or a rep whose memory banks had run out? One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. 